National Herbs and Spices Day, and this season is the best time to spruce up your home gardens. To celebrate this day, we're getting crafty with some special stencils, and Amy Lott is back. You're using some special stencils today, so tell us about those. Sure, I like to think they're special because I designed them. So <laughs> my friends at Scorch Marker asked me if I would create a set of stencils that are designed to go with your herb garden, and I was excited to do that. So I created stencils for a lot of different herbs that you might have planted things like oregano, basil, chives, dill, mint, um, along with some words like herbs, garden, and grow. Um, that full set of stencils is available at scorchmarker.com to mm -hmm. download. It's usually $2.99, but you can get it for free with the code I Love Stencils, all lowercase, for watching Good Day PA today. So you can go grab them totally free. Uh, but these stencils are digital files. So rather than receiving an actual physical stencil to use, you download the images to your computer, and then you can use them in any way you want. You could even print them out and frame them, or you could use your Cricut to cut them and then turn them into a stencil, which is what I did for my mint plant over there. I mm -hmm. stenciled on the pot, and then I also used the scorch marker with the stencils to create these little garden markers. I used a stencil to stencil the word herbs on my herb planter box. And then I also wanna show you today how you can use these stencils without a Cricut. Okay, yeah, let's get into that. You've given us some really great ideas so far. What do we do if we don't have a Cricut to use? So the first thing you're gonna do is choose the particular herb image or word that you want, and you're gonna print it out backwards. So you have to make sure that it prints out in reverse or it's not gonna work. <laughs> so you're gonna take that printout and then you're gonna take a pencil and you're just gonna use your pencil and trace over every printed line. So I would trace the word lavender, I would trace the image, and then what you do is you place this face down on your surface. So I'm using these little ceramic coaster blanks that I got at Michael's, but you could also use wood or anything else that you want. You're gonna place this face down and you'll be able to see where the dark image is. Sure. And you're gonna trace that again from the reverse side. And as you do, it's gonna push those pencil marks that you made onto your tile or whatever surface you have. So you're gonna have a little pencil sketch of the image. Wow, it's like magic. I know, right? Isn't it the coolest? And you can do this not just with these, but with any printed image. So anything you wanna transfer, you print it backwards, trace, trace, and here it is. And then you can paint over it like I did on my lavender tile coaster. Wow, you again have given us so many great ideas and you could do this not only for your garden, but we were talking earlier about gifts. This is the great time of year and kids could really get involved with this craft. So uh, I know you always have a great write up on your website with all the information needed and maybe you could uh, share that code again for the free stencils. Yes, of course. So the project tutorials are at amylattacreations.com, which is my website. But my friends at Scorchmarker are the ones that actually have the download of the images. So you go to scorchmarker.com and the code is I love stencils, all one word, all lowercase. I love stencils. And then you can download all of those images that you saw on the screen earlier for free. Really easy. So nice. Thank you, Amy. Of course. Happy to be here. Stay with us. We'll be right back.